Hello everybody, um, thanks everybody for your well wishes in regards to me being ill. Um, I've had basically seven days away, from, seven, eight days away from the garden. Um, I'm <laughs> like an addict, I mean, like getting the shakes and stuff. Um, I'm still not, I'm still deaf in this year. I can't hear a thing out this year, it's been six, seven days now. Um, and the other day I just, oh, I keel over in pain. And apparently going out of my hours of emergency doctor as at one o'clock in the morning. Um, thankfully though, Everything is starting to swell and starting to go down and things, so I'm, I'm, I should be back up running shortly. Um, I'm down at the plot at the moment. Um, is I'm taking advantage of the sunny weather that we've got now, as opposed to the rain that's been here. Granddad Dave's been diamond again. He's been keeping on top of everything, water and everything has been coming down. I couldn't think this, couldn't think of what I could do without that block. I couldn't do it. Um, I've just had a quick look around to see how things have progressed on since I've been here last. Things are all right. There's a few things that need to be done, but that can be done next week when I'm feeling a lot better. Um, taking advantage of the day to pull up the garlic. Now it's my favourite time of the year. Um, to uh, wait eight or nine months for the garlic to come to fruition. And I can say everybody else is pulling theirs up and uh, I'm getting quite uh, quite jealous. So I've taken a look at mine and mine's ready to be pulled up now as well. So I'm going to go down there, set my camera up and I'm going to pull mine up and I'll show you how I clean mine off and store mine. Well, I seem to have lost my camera stand. I don't know where, but I've put the tripod. Been away a week and everything's just all over the place. Um, let's spin you around, show you the garlic, and then uh, I'll pull them up and I'll show you what I do with them afterwards. Here's the garlic from my own saved seed. All of the garlic from my own saved seed this year. As you can see, they're heavily, heavily, heavily rusted with them on there. But also they're starting to die back as well, which is time, which means it's time to get them out. So as you can see, they're all up there. I'm going to get them out, get them laid off, and we'll see how well they've done. Now, if memory serves correctly, I have the larger bulbs at the back, medium, and the smaller cloves at the bottom here. So, I'll uh, separate them all off. I'll show you them as I go along, and we'll uh, we'll see how well they've done. Right, when you're pulling this up, it is a bit damp for still, after the, uh, the weather we've had. Now, I'm not going to just yank it up, because what I want to do is I want to keep the, keep the stem... And there's a main, there's a reason for keeping the stem. I'll tell you about it in a little bit. So what I'm doing is just raising this up, just so it loosens the soil off, lifting it up, and there we go. Garlic, happy days. Right, get the next the next lot done, and I'll show you the larger. Bit. Here's something you want to be looking out for. Now this is called white rot. And as you can see, there's little foamy bits of white stuff on this on the soil and also on the garlic. Now you can still eat that garlic, that's fine, you can still store it, but it won't store as long as the others. And it's uh, it's not the best to have, because if you put it in with onions, if you put onions in here next, the wherever they found the white rot, they can attack the onions, and also can go with the leeks as well. Um, so always be vigilant with guards of that. That is what white rot looks like. So just be careful. That's one bed done. Now I've just looked back on a couple of my old videos. And uh, I basically I started out by putting the top section out, the stub ones in that bucket, direct outside. These ones, these ones, and them ones, I started off um, in pots and cell trays. And uh, like I say, I'll show you the results once I've pulled the last lot up. But uh, so far, I've had a couple of uh, disasters with white rot, but never mind. Um, I'm going to check out the last ones up there and see how things go with them. One, two, three four buckets i had germa in here um so i've got to you now sort all of them out clean them all out and i'm going to st hang them in the bottom greenhouse here um i have getting six or seven um garlic with white rot majority of it being the germinal um but never mind i'm happy with that result six out of all of them four i've got four full buckets flower buckets full of garlic let me take you into that greenhouse and I'll show you how I clean it. Okay, so them. I can't find me um me tripod. Anyhow, this is the batch of uh, garlic, the large ones which I planted straight direct outside. I'm gonna get them all out of this bucket. I'll put them all on here and we'll see what we've got and I'll show you how I clean them up. Okay, so I've got uh, my makeshift stand there. Um I'm gonna show you how I clean the garlic off. It's dead straightforward, dead easy. Um, so I've got these bucket of garlic here, these are from the single cloves that I planted outside, the larger cloves. Now all I'm going to do is I've got a bucket of water down here, got me garlic, I'm just going to clean the roots off in the water, just giving it a swirl around. 
So the garlic, so they're sort of clean, as you can see. And I'm going to show you how I make this garlic clean. No cleaner water, no brushing, anything like that. All I do is take the outer skin off, dead straight forward, one side. Two sides. Just get rid of the remainder. Et voila. One nice clean garlic. And from there, what I do, put them all to one side. Side. I'm just storing them inside here. Down the greenhouse here. So I'm just storing them. On there, like that. Upside down. So that the they can dry out. So I've got this full book of to do. I'll show you them once I've finished off. But that's the easy way to clean up garlic. And there's the large garlic that I planted outside. The large cloves planted outside straight away without planting in to sell trays. So I think I've had a good harvest with them. Nice sized bulb on them. Again, very, very pleased with them. Um, of course, cleaned up nicely as well. They'll stay inside here. They'll stay um, nice and dried off, then uh, when they all die back, then I can start braiding them. But for the meantime, I'm going to have three more of these to go. I'm going to have three more buckets to sort out, and I'll show you all of them afterwards. Well, here's something I've never had happen before. Garlic, cleaned it off. The garlic cloves are actually starting to grow again. Well, I feel an experiment coming along here. So I think I'll, uh, I'll take these off and I'll pot them up. Uh, hopefully the rest of them aren't like that. The ones I've got in here. I'll time will tell, have to see. But uh, yeah, quite interesting that's happened. Never had it happen to me before. So take it off and we'll see how things go with them. But I've still got half a bucket to go through yet. And now two buckets as well. I'm starting to get a bit sick now, to be honest. Um, but that's just because of the way I feel. But I'm going to crack on and I'm going to go home. There we have. So these are the large cloves of garlic. These ones were put in direct. These ones were put in in January. So just before January, but they had been put into the cell trays a few months prior to that. So that is exactly, I mean, from what I can see, there's not a lot of difference, to be honest. There's more work done on these than there is on these. And there's one there, there's one there. They've split, they're good size, no difference whatsoever. So to me, the larger cloves, larger medium cloves, fantastic. Just put them in direct, straight in the ground happy days for those that do struggle though you can start them off in pots so they get a good uh, hold then put them in but for me in my garden i'm going to put them in direct from in the future right i've got another two buckets to go not as many as the, what these were but uh, i'm going to get them done now we have the smaller cloves that were started off indoors they're still an all right size they're still a good size um of course you can tell the smaller ones than what these ones were There's the large cloves, there's the medium cloves. They're not too much difference, but there is a difference there. So that's all of the white crystal harvested. I'll separate it off, three full trays. I'm gonna get the germidor done, then that's me. That's all of the garlic done. That's a germidor there. You can tell by the reddish tinge on the front. Um, I've gotten some nice. I've gotten some nice garlic this year. I'm very happy with the way it's turned out. I've left the whole stem on, and I've left that on on purpose. You'll see why in a later video for when I go to hang these up and get these all braided and things. Um, but I'll get them all sorted out in a minute, and I'll show you the outcome for eventually. These ones that I've seen germinated up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just pop them into this bucket of the soil. So I'm just going to get me dibber, dip it down. Just pop one of these in here and leave them in here and see what we get out of them and voila there we go there's 90 clo 90 cloves of garlic there 19 bulbs of garlic sorry um i'm over the moon with them to be honest i'm very very happy with the size of them even the small other ones that'll come in very handy i'll take the small I'll, what i'll do is i'll sort these all out with the sizes and then the smaller ones i'll take home to eat and the larger ones i'll store uh, for seed for this coming year as well so thanks to them ones i'll keep for them for the bigger ones for the just to, to, to stored for next year as well so i'm very happy with them cracking garlic very very pleased hope your garlic is fantastic as well and i've just done a little experiment outside 
I'm one of them buckets for them ones there as well. So, for me and garlic, <laughs> me and the garlic even, I'll uh, see you next time I'm over. Um, hopefully I can get over shortly in this ear ache, ear infection does one. Um, but yeah, I'm very pleased with the way they've turned out. See you next time. Good morning. Um, come down to the plot to pick a few things up. And uh, I was greeted by some... Uh, well, I've well, had um, <laughs> Comfries there and I had three lavender plants there. Council's been down this morning to cut the grass and they've just destroyed everything across there. So I managed to keep one. So thanks, Council. Right, time to pick up what I need to pick up. First crop of uh, onions. So these are the winter onions and the red onions I got from the shop for free. They've done well, I'm quite pleased with them. My mum's asked for some onions and garlic. So I'm going to give her some, uh, I'm going to clean these off and go pop them down to her. Um, and I've got some garlic as well. I might start pulling that elephant garlic up because it is ready. So that's a task I'm going to get done, which is straightforward enough to do. Elephant garlic, time to be pulled up, the first batch anyway, so that batch at the top. I'm going to pull this through. Uh, I haven't found my tripod yet. So I'll pull this out and I'll show you what I've getting after I've pulled it out again. Now just to show you, ah, sorry, winter me here. Um, just to show you, now I've just pulled this elephant garlic up and as you can see, they've got bulbils on the outside. Now keep hold of them and if you want, you can replant all of them in a couple of years time. They'll develop, well, like next year, they'll develop one single big bulb and then a few years after that, they'll develop into the elephant clove itself. So you can either keep the cloves or you can keep the, the bulbers bulbils well, and um, I'll be keeping all of these and putting them into a pot like I did with the gladioli combs um, and just leaving them one side right I'm gonna get the rest of these up but so far so good well that's that done let me show you the results fantastic absolutely amazing these are all the bulbils that I've getting from these there'll still be some more in there but that's only half of the harvest I've still got them ones that I got off uh, Mr Bump uh, John to harvest but these i'm very very impressed there's one what looks feels like it's only one bulb uh, one main bulb um and that's this one here i don't know if that's been split down or not but other than that all of these are singular bulbs and you can see the size of them from this one here that's the size of the clove put that back on there now give you a comparison in regards to the size of these things obviously i'll pick one up same size as my fist it's huge but I've got two of my biggest cloves of garlic there's a the normal garlic and there's the elephant garlic absolutely massive I think they're fantastic I'm pleased with the way they've turned out but I'll be able to save these cloves for next year and start and I've got plenty to go from uh, from my own garlic so Dave if you're watching if you fancy growing some big garlic next year just give a shout and I can drop some cloves off for you come uh, September time Grandad Dave's just been down uh, and he's quickly just given us a hand and um, just moving the lilies in the background here so you can see I've just moved them because the way from the word down here down this section here I've just moved them so they're down there supported in because they'll be getting ready for cutting shortly so that I can take the flowers home um, but in the meantime, this is me done for today. I need to get back home. Uh, I need to get my hat on, get my medication sorted out. Um, still not 100% caught here in this year yet, but uh, I've got to get back. What I've got here is one of the angel trumpets, or two of the angel trumpets that Martin Finnemore sent me. Um, they were in the yellow tubs here, yeah? and it's time to get them potted up. There's a few of the uh, leaves turning yellow, of course. Taking that off, and they give it a good feed. Some nice compost in that bucket. So that's going to be the final bucket. Keep them in there and we'll put them next door. So I'm going to pop these in and I'll show you them afterwards. That's the Burgos Me in, Angel Trumpets. So thank you very much, Martin. That's where they're staying. I'll move them about a bit separately and get them perfect in the right position. But uh, that is where they'll be staying so that the flower go up. So it's something to see at the bottom of this garden as well. Now on the subject of this garden, I got some good news yesterday. Um, the chap whose garden it is as well came down and uh, he signed the form for a partnership form. So all I've got to do now is just hand this in and once 
once I've handed it in, I can make my plans for the bottom section of the garden because um, there's been polytunnels or some form of structure going on. I can get this prepared and get this sorted the way I want it for what I want to be doing going forward in the future. So, good news for that. Happy days. Right, I'm going to dig elephant gall a little bit and move on because uh, I'm starting to struggle a bit. Go ahead back through next door, the tying up that I did last week. You can see the benefit that it's had because everything's starting to grow upwards now as opposed to lying flat. I still need to deadhead a few of these, uh, take a few of these uh, sweet peas off. I might have a handful here for today as well. I'm pleased with the way they're turning out so far, but it's something new and something different I've tried, and it is working. Hello once again. Um, I feel a bit disheartened this morning after coming down here, just to quickly just to feed everything off. Um, we'll be heading straight back up home shortly. Um, the, these are the onions, the quality onions. Now, time frame is very important. The show is in 12 weeks time, 12 to, uh, 12 to 14 weeks time. These are quality onions, which need to be lifted six weeks prior. So realistically, I've got six to eight weeks for these to be pulled. They're not gonna be ready in six to eight weeks. I don't believe in any ways, but we will see. We'll see what happens. I might have a half a dozen or so, but um, at the moment, not looking too clever, to be honest. Um, I've spoken to a couple of people. I've uh, started feeding these more, and uh, we'll just have to see how things progress. Um, more so for next year uh, than this year, but let's see. We'll have to wait and see. Um, there's like other things as well, parsnips and carrots and stuff. I've given them a good feed this morning, uh, and I'll show you something else which is a bit disheartening as well. <laughs> all go this week walking past this turnips a giant swede it's like oh champion them two are doing well Getting good growth on them then i look up and the five that i put in the other day have been eaten tops have all been chewed off the top of them turnips swedes whatever you want to call them but that's my fault i didn't cover them up I was going to put a stick in a plastic bag, which I'm going to do with the day, just to put them up to try and deter them, but uh, that's very disheartening. I might pull one of these up, because I've got a spare one. That's been outside for ages and ages and ages. That one there, and it's uh, it's not uh, not been touched. I do, have, um, I do have another two at home, I might bring them down and just pop them in, just as a backup. Um, but other than that, everything else is out of feed. Giant cabbages are doing well. Really well, much better than last year. Much, much better last year. That's them three alone. Last year, I had them smaller than these ones. And these ones are uh, coming along as well. But I think these last two weeks have knocked us back a little bit, um, which is a bit, let me say, disheartening, but it, it is what it is. Um, as you can see in the background here, I've tried the elf, I put the elephant garlic up to dry, and that's where they'll be staying. Right, I suppose I'll best get everything sorted. I'm at the bottom of the garden where it doesn't really get much of attention down here. I really must get down here um, when this will all be summer, like winter, summer winter jobs when everything's sorted. That shed's been taken over by the ivy. I need to get in there and get that taken down as fast as possible before it destroys that shed. Um, I do have a grapevine down there, which is the one that leads into the greenhouse here. So I need to get down there and get that sorted out. In the meantime, anyways, nettles. So I've got nettles with the same height as me, so nearly five foot ten five foot nine um and now what i do is i keep these nettles going down here for one purpose i've got some back there as well and the one purpose i give them is nettle tea so all i do is get a barrel put all the nettle down pop it in there and this is a fantastic organic feed for tomatoes and things because it's rich in nitrogen and stuff like that so basically weeds yes they're not not going to go to waste though so all i'm going to do from there pop the lid on because this stuff stinks when it gets going it stinks same with the comfrey tea as well and um, so that'll stay in there i'll give it a stir around and every now and then and then i'll bottle it up uh, or i'll use it as and when needed i believe it is uh, i think it's 10 to 1 the ratio not too sure i'll have to double check um but i've got some saved from last year in a bottles that's up the top of the garden uh, so what i do need it i've got some on hand already right well that's me done for today so i get a bit of a headache um need to go we'll book another doctor's appointment to get uh, this here and stuff sorted out but uh yeah 
I need to stop getting myself down. Um, I don't think I'm feeling down because I'm not well at the minute. I've had a look at my videos yesterday um, from last year, and I am well ahead from last year. Um, I've got a lot of things going on, more stuff going on than I did have last year. Put a lot more timber on now since last year as well. I need some, something needs to be addressed as well. Um, but it will happen. It will. I will get something sorted out. But um, in the meantime, I'll uh, I'll see you next time I get something sorted out. Hello. I've just been up and I've just getting some uh, some loads of firewood uh, for when it comes to the winter. So that's a good start for the winter. Uh, I've come back down. <laughs> the birds are being back at the Swede, so I need to get that covered over. But one of the first jobs I'm going to get done with this morning is I'm going to get the onions, all the onions out. In that big mashup of weeds <laughs> are some good onions. I'm going to set these up and I'm going to get this done as fast as I can. have the onion harvest i've still got some red ones to pull out which are in that bed over there but i've left them out specifically because they were the ones i got for free from the lotman shop um i'm happy with the harvest i've getting red onions have been poor once again i don't think i'll do red onions next year um the time will tell in fact we'll see how they get on but at the minute going off what they are i'll not be doing red onions next year the white ones have been fine there's hardly, there's, there's fact, I've never spotted any white rot whatsoever, so that's a good sign as well. So um, I'll leave these to dry in the open, away from the rain. Um, I'll uh, show you where I store these. Um, then I'll be able to get all of these bagged up. So very happy with them. Better than last year. Let's go and get the other ones up now. Well, would you look at that? <laughs> just goes to show you, doesn't it? Just goes to show. Don't, just because things aren't, uh, what, it doesn't look like what they seem, just give them a go and see what happens. Um, these are the onions, the red sets that I got from the allotment shop, um, which they were given away basically because they were stuck in a bag and they started to sweat. Um, and start to get a bit moldy on the bout sides and stuff, but they yeah, didn't phase me, so I'll give them a chance, give them a bed, and look at that. Look at the look at the onions, man. Look at them. There's some canny cork and size ones, and <laughs> this one down here, I can't even get it out of the hole. <laughs> I have to lift it up. That's the biggest red onion I've ever grown. Look at that. Strip it off, let's have a see. There you go. <laughs> nice big red onion. <laughs> hey, I'm over the moon with that. I'm gonna have to change my mind after that. Um so yeah, now the fun work begins. I'm gonna get these all stored up, get rid of all the dirt off the bottom. So I'll just keep be giving them a good shake and I'll just be leaving them. I'll not be washing them anything like that. Um I'll be storing them down the bottom of the garden here, which I'll show you next. But uh, yeah, I'm very pleased with them. <laughs> So this is me drying rack. Um, it's been out of commission last year because the onions didn't do very well. Um, so I've just tidied that up a little bit and I'm gonna st start putting the onions facing downwards on here. Oh, you can see I need to get in the back of here and I need to get all that sorted out, but that's another job for another day. I need to get this all lined up as well because it's, uh, it's kind of leaning a bit, <laughs> but never mind. Right, let's get the onions on here. Them onions all stored. Just need them dry off and I'll just pick and choose them when I come. Turns out I've got more red onions than white onions after my, my initial whinge on. <laughs> so uh, there we go. Happy days. Leave them on the dry. There's a bit of a space there so I'll just put uh, what, what needs to be left up there out there. Um, right, on to the next task. I've just cleaned out, um, just moved the stuff off the top of the compost bin um, and I'm busy emptying stuff out in preparation for to put the weeds and everything in and 
It looks like I've disturbed a beehive. A bumblebee, I don't know if they're bumblebees or not, but there's just bees swarming all over the place, isn't there? I'm going to give it five minutes just to uh, let them know that everything's all right. <laughs> that's two bees, bees, beehives that I've getting, either the wild or not, but that's two in the garden. So I've got all the bees. <laughs> right, it's time to get this all tidied up. Mara's in there. I've got another one to put in as well. I'll have to put it on this side or something. I'll put this far corner, come around and across or something like that. But in the meantime, this whole thing needs to be tidied up. And you put all of these lilies down this side here as well. So let's get cracked on. That's the two marrows in, that's all I'm doing. I'll focus on one when it gets close at the time. But that's that one in. And also that one in. And they are the both bail toting 149 pounders from the 149 pounder. So I've just given the whole area a, spr a sprinkle with uh, some hen pellets and I've given it a good feed and uh, when I planted that out, this one out. Um, so. It's all it's all done now. That's that sorted out. If you're ready, getting ready to uh, pollinate as soon as I get a chance to, um, give them a few more weeks. We're ready to pollinate it. I've covered the swede up as well. So I've covered the swede up that bed there, best I can for the time being. Stuff from the pigeons, and I've also put some more swede in down here. So I've got them three in. I'll have to net them over and uh, protect them from the birds as well. Well, that's me all done for today. Um, I think I've done enough. Um, I've gotten a fair bit what I wanted to get done done. Uh, I'm pleased with the way things have turned out this week, even though I've been bad. I've managed to get little things done. Um, it's, it's not not normally what I get loads done. Like I've still got a lot of tidying up to do and stuff. But uh, next week will be brassicas. I'll be getting the beds ready to put the brassicas in as I've got some space now. Um, that's I'm pleased with the way the onions have been harvested, the onion harvest, the garlic harvest, the elephant garlic harvest and uh, everything else that's taken over nicely so uh, i hope you've enjoyed watching um the fruits of my labor <laughs> we're also getting everything stored now ready to go uh, drying off i uh, hope you learned something new as well um just as a quick reminder as well i uh, hit 1900 subscribers this week it was a nice uh, nice thing to see welcome to everybody that's joining as well 2000 is the next big milestone and um, so you won't get that done by the time i go to to uh, how uh, to harrogate there's Harrogate, uh, speaking of Harrogate, there are things in the pipeline um, for me and a couple of other YouTubers as well, so uh, keep your eyes peeled for that as well, and uh, that'll be coming over the next few weeks as well. So, from me, thanks very much for subscribing, thanks for watching, thanks for liking, and I'll see you all next week. Cheers, bye-bye now. Mm -hmm.